Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling an intriguing question from a developer working with the IRIS dataset and decision trees. They want to create a surface plot for visualization, but are facing challenges with data size and efficiency. Let's dive into their question. How can they retrieve the X and Y coordinates of the decision boundary lines from a scikit-learn decision tree rather than iterating across the entire plot? Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll go through your question, go through the answers for it, and hopefully that brings you to your solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy to get to that solution just like me. And let's get started. To retrieve the decision boundary lines from a decision tree model, we first need to understand how the decision boundaries are formed. Decision boundaries are the regions that separate different classes in your data set. Instead of iterating over the entire grid, we can focus on the points where the decision boundary changes. This can be achieved by evaluating the model's predictions at specific intervals and identifying the points where the predicted class changes. To implement this, we can use the predict method of the decision tree model on a reduced set of points we can create a mesh grid with a larger step size, say 0.1, and then check where the predictions change. Here's a code snippet to illustrate this process. First, create a mesh grid, then predict the classes, and finally, extract the coordinates where the class changes. Finally, you can store these coordinates in a list or a JSON file for your visualization software. This approach will be more efficient and should prevent crashes due to large data sizes. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To retrieve decision boundary lines from a decision tree in scikit-learn, you can follow a simple method. First, calculate the differences in the decision boundary array, Z, to identify where the boundaries are. Next, Use the NumPy where function to find the X and Y coordinates of the decision boundaries. Finally, rescale these coordinates to convert them back to the original units. Here's a visual representation of the decision boundaries, showing the non-zero entries clearly. This approach effectively highlights the decision regions. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To retrieve decision boundary lines from a scikit-learn decision tree, you can implement a method for higher dimensional data. First, calculate the number of leaves in the tree and initialize a tensor to store the boundaries. Next, identify the locations of the leaves and loop through them. For each leaf, trace back to find the split criteria that led to that leaf, updating the boundaries accordingly. In the loop, check if the current index corresponds to a left or right child. Update the boundaries tensor with the minimum and maximum values based on the splits found.
This method effectively builds a tensor that captures the decision boundaries for each leaf in the tree, allowing for a comprehensive understanding of the model's decision-making process. And that's it. I hope that helped find the resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.